All right, so today's quick tip is peppermint oil for spiders and ants. So let me show you what I bought. I went to the store and got this brand here. It's just a basic essential oil. As soon as it focuses, you can see it says now essential oils, 100% pure peppermint. So this is, uh, you know, I'm not going to get the real fancy brand. This is peppermint oil. I can feel it on my skin, slightly burning because I was outside just spraying it around the house, you know, spraying up high where the wasp are and the attic window or the attic, um, you know, the vents for the attic and let air flow through. And of course it comes back down on me, but it's not a chemical. It's an essential oil. You can use this. You can breathe it. They've done studies. They've done studies to prove, well, as far as you want to believe, They've done studies that this helps with memory, helps you with taking tests, things like that. So it's a lot of essential oils are good to breathe. But uh, apparently spiders don't like this and ants don't like this. And since I have an older house, I'm getting invaded by both of them. I use diatomaceous earth. If you watch my other videos, I use diatomaceous earth to kind of repel them. But now it looks like um, a drug plane flew overhead and, and <laughs> some kilos of cocaine fell and splattered on the outside of my house. Kind of messy on the inside. You know, the coconut, or, um, that's diatomaceous earth. I don't know why where the word coconut came from. Got it on my brain. So this, mixed with water, you can't see it. You can smell it, and it smells good, but it's not like this white, messy powder everywhere. So I'm going to try this. So what I did was I went to the local store, and I bought one of these bottles. I bought it from a local store, independent, not a big corporation that's overtaking our country. So just, just a cheap little bottle here. cost me a couple bucks. There it is. And I filled it with about this much, about what's left right now. See how much is in there? About that much peppermint oil, which is about half this bottle. Yeah, if I look up at the light, little more than half of is left in this bottle. And prices may vary. You have to check in your neighborhood. So, or go on iHerb.com. Oh yeah, go on iHerb.com if you want to buy peppermint oil and use our, our rewards code. When you check out, it'll say, you know, uh, it'll say like subtotal tax shipping bolt and then it'll say apply rewards code. It's WEB707. I'll put it below this video. That's W as in whiskey, E as in Edward, B as in Bravo, 707. You'll see it below. Use that. If you're brand new to iHerb, you'll get a discount. If you buy over $40, you also get a discount. Save on shipping. If you keep using the code every time, you get somewhat of a discount. They'll, you'll see it at checkout. And it helps us out too. So basically, in this bottle, this is um, 32 ounces. I put about this much oil in it, and then I filled it up to about here with water. Then I went outside and just sprayed it. And I adjusted it. I turned this so it's spraying straight. Because when you kind of make it do the wide, it doesn't really work that great. So here's what I discovered, though. Um, a little bit of backstory. You know, I've, I've been seeing some little spiders in the bathroom downstairs. And there's a bathroom window which I, I open during the day when it's cool when I'm home. Uh, when it's hot out, it stays closed. But you know, it's not airtight for insects. And I've been seeing these tiny little black spiders, really tiny little specks, um, like on the toilet seat where I'm sitting down, you know, underneath or when you lift up the rim or whatever. And I've been squishing them with my, my finger, you know, with my thumb. And uh, so I just thought it was a regular house spider or a garden spider. The Euro one of them looked like a Euro European spider, a common European spider that's semi-venomous to small animals, not really that, that dangerous to people. Um, but I saw, I thought that's why I discovered, I researched it, that had come over, you know, you know, shipping and people moving and boats and stuff, all these insects and animals are going around the world. And, you know, people move constantly and they move from warmer climates sometimes to colder climates. And because of these uh, people bringing all their stuff with them and leaving it in storage units where storage units are havens for all kinds of insects and bugs and rats and mice and whatever. And, uh, oh, and I had sold a dresser that I didn't need anymore. And when we picked it up, took it outside, I was going to clean it off for the guy. There was a spider underneath it. It was in my bedroom. It was underneath it. It had a nest. And I was going to have thousands of little spiders in my room. So we squished it. He bought it. It's gone. But tonight... I was going around the outside of the house, and I was using my handy-dandy flashlight here on my cell phone, which is, you should know if you have one, I'm sure you do, it's very bright. Over on the one side of the house, there's some bricks that the previous homeowner had left there, 
up against the house and when you pu push them away there's some damage which I saw that before you know I bought the house not a big deal this house is old it needs a lot of work uh, but tonight I pushed the bricks away and I was spraying down in there just in case this huge freaking black spider comes out and it you know because it didn't like the water I don't know if the peppermint oil worked or not but it came out and it looked like a black widow I'm from Southern California originally I know what black widows look like and uh, so I squished it immediately. I'm going around spraying all the windows, the doors, everything, all around the sills, around all the uh, duck, you know, all the, um, no, I wouldn't say duck work, but where pipes come into the house, you know, cable, TV, even though they're sealed up, I still spray them. I was spraying the vents on either side, you know, they're up in the attic, and they're the old style slats, and I don't know if there's a screen behind them or not. Uh, I haven't seen any larger animals living up there. I haven't heard anything. But I still, from the ground, I can spray it because it's only a one story. And there's wasps nest over there and I was spraying them at night. So I work all the way around to the house back to the corner here Where the bathroom is and the back window is and um, Oh, there's wasps nests up in that corner, too. There were along the back door, but I knocked them down So I was spraying them and there was uh, there was some wasp in it, but it's it's at night right now It's cooler. It's in the 60s I believe or if not the 50s and I was spraying them and they just were like trying to the few wasps that knew, moved were going behind the nest, you know, because it hangs on a little piece and it's it's out like this, so they crawl up and behind it. So I was spraying that, and then I started spraying the basement win or the bathroom window in the basement. And they're older, smaller windows, and you can't really see under uh, underneath the top part of them. So I'm leaning over and I'm spraying at an angle to get under there. This freaking giant spider comes out! It's a freaking black widow. It was turned upside down. And I could see the little triangle, little hourglass on its belly. And it had, you know, it was black, pointed, the, the legs were pointed to a tip. Total black widow. It was freaking, I'm getting creepy crawlies right now, man. So anyways, I just soaked it. I just sprayed it. I just covered every inch of that window. I've had that window open many times as, since it's been cooler out. And those were those little tiny black, sorry, piece of food from earlier. Those little tiny specks. Those black spiders that were in my bathroom that I was smashing, I'm sure those were black widow babies. They, I mean, they, they were solid black. They weren't like gray or whatever. The other spider I saw in the bathroom was kind of a grayish brown, and it had something on its belly, and I couldn't really identify it. That's the one where I thought it was a European spider. Um, but I've sprayed peppermint in there. And uh, there is a hole where the pipe goes up into the floor above, the old cast iron pipe. I should fill that in. I have the silicone. I don't know. I think I don't know if I filled it in or not. It's just a little hole, but you know, little holes giant for spiders. I sprayed peppermint all over it. But this one that was outside the bathroom window, I just didn't want to leave it with peppermint, you know, alive. So I got my foot down in there because it's not very deep because it's an older house, and I smashed it, or at least when I lifted my foot up, it was gone. <laughs> so I was smashing my dragging my foot all over the ground, and making sure it's not living on my shoe and biting me. Man, that sucker was big enough. If it bit me and it was a black widow, I'd have a nasty wound if not be in the hospital. And this, this is Utah. Black widows are not supposed to be here. You know, it's been hot for a long time. It's getting hotter and hotter out. And, um, you know, people bring them when they move. When, when they move with... Um, I've seen a person's house up in Lehigh. It was an apartment. And I found out later it was Section 8 housing. And they were a former co-worker of mine when I worked at a different place. And I know this is everywhere, but I just don't see it. I, I was at her house helping her move, and there's freaking cockroaches running around during the daytime. I freaked out. And I'm like wiping, jumping, knocking everything down. I didn't want to carry anything in my vehicle. Man, bring cockroaches home. And so, and I have cats, and if they're here, the cats freak out when they see a bug, see a fly, anything. So if something's here, I know it. I know it immediately. And I walk around in the dark and use my flashlight. I don't also have all the lights on. I sit here in the dark and watch, and I don't see anything. Uh, and there's no evidence anywhere that I see little trails or anything. The cats aren't, like, locked onto a cabinet. But, yeah, so the, the Black Widow story is people move, you know, move from Southern. A million Californians have moved up into these states in the Pacific Northwest, Midwest. Or, I don't want to say Midwest. See, I consider the Midwest between California and Colorado or the or Nebraska, Kansas, okay? A, lot, a terminology a lot of people in Minnesota use, they call it the, the Midwest or the North, Northwest. And that's old, outdated terminology from when the U.S. ended at the Rocky Mountains. 
because Minnesota then was the Midwest, and it's no more, and they still call that. They still call it the Midwest and Northwestern University and all that stuff. They're no longer the West. They're the Central because the West Coast is California. So, and this is totally off topic, but it bugs the crap out of me. So anyways, the Western states, we're in the Midwest. We shouldn't have these spiders like this here. They can't survive. People move from California. They bring spiders here. But also, I've worked for enough small businesses, businesses, some big businesses. I've seen what they do. And I've read about it. I know about it. People have showed it to me. The pest control companies are not short of bringing this stuff in and dumping it. And if you don't believe me, you're a fool. Because if there's no need, they go out of business. Just like with health care. Sorry, I'm spitting on the camera. It's not health care. It's sick care. They want you to stay sick. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm on my soapbox. I'm off topic. Regardless, I have black widows. I, I sprayed this peppermint oil everywhere. Uh, we're going to see what happens. You know, when it rains, I'm going to have to reapply it. I can spray it inside the house. I just want to be careful around the cats. So that was my quick tip of the day. It's kind of ran over here a little bit. Um, but we'll see if it works. And it's non-toxic. It's not a chemical. It's not harmful except for repelling the bugs and the insects. So that's what I want to do. I don't want to use... I will never use Monsanto products. I will never use Roundup. None of that. Never. So, and I was the same with my laundry detergent, my, um, my uh, dishwashing detergent. Although I did have to get a Febreze because I washed a big, I'm totally off topic here. I washed my down comforter because Helios was a bad cat. And there was a smell, it was like mildew, like from the down, goose down feathers. And I just kept washing it, washing it, and I had to get the Febreze odor remover. It's like a blue bottle that gets rid of the odor. And I had to wash it a couple times, put a ton of it in it dry it forever. Now it smells great, but that's off topic. So thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for listening to my rant. Give us thumbs up, subscribe, share with everyone across social media, please. It helps us financially. And uh, we'll see you next time.